On behalf of the Amud Foundation Board, staff, and volunteers, we want to welcome you to the Amud Foundation Annual Fundraising Campaign. Your continued support is critical to the success of our humanitarian efforts in war-torn Somalia and the Horn of Africa. Over the past 14 years, Amud Foundation has been at the forefront of the humanitarian campaign to make a difference in war-torn Somalia and other areas of the Horn of Africa. Many of you, our generous supporters and donors, have been with us all along in this humanitarian journey and have helped us initiate and sustain many projects. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, inshallah, I'm going to be talking to you about Amud Foundation. And as most of you are aware, Amud Foundation has been very instrumental in helping out uh, areas in Somalia Kenya and the Horn of Africa. They have made uh, certain projects very successful, like the building of a hospital, uh, digging of wells, repatriating drought-stricken uh, victims back to their homes. And inshallah, they want to continue this noble work as much as possible. Today, Amud Foundation provides annual support and sustenance to 14 orphanage schools in the Horn of Africa from Djibouti, Barama, Gabale, Hargeisa, Bora, Galkayu, Mogadishu, all the way to Wajir, Kenya. Through Amud Foundation, the children of all of these orphanages send you their greetings and gratitude for your kindness and commitment that provides them shelter, food, and education. Jamal, his name, his name is Jamal, and he is 14 years old. And what did he need? He said, welcome to the school. I'm sorry because we are yeah, students, please help us. Amud Foundation has uh, fed and given food sufficient to last for one month to 650 families in uh, Shantabak uh, location in Shantabak Division. Uh, they have uh, uh, clearly came at the moments of need, uh, serious moments of need. I, I want to appreciate that very much. My brothers and sisters, I would like to share with you what I have seen in the Somali capital, Mogadishu, and how Amud Foundation helped the brothers and sisters who are struggling and starving and facing a lot of problems. And there is a lot of children, a lot of women, a lot of, a lot of orphans. Today, Al Hayat Hospital is fully operational, staffed with highly qualified medical doctors, nurses, and administrative staff, providing quality health care to thousands of patients. Expatriate doctors from fellow Muslim countries have traveled thousands of miles and crossed oceans to contribute to this humanitarian effort with their medical expertise and have saved lives. Uh, my name is Dr. Rhoda Abdullahi. I'm one of the graduates from Amud University, uh, the third patch, uh, graduated in uh, 2009. And I have started working at Al, Al Hayat Medical Center uh, at March 2011. I believe that this center uh, is established by an Amud Foundation, which is an, uh, settled uh, at Dallas, USA. Uh, the vision of this center is uh, that the center was established to help uh, the Somali people uh, to elevate their uh, medical problems. Uh, I'm Professor Suleiman Ahmed Gouled, president of Amud University. Uh, 
I wish to take this opportunity to thank on behalf of the Board of Trustees, management, staff, and the students of Ahmoud University to thank all those who have donated their resources to uh, Ahmoud Foundation in order to build this very beautiful and useful hospital. I'm from Pakistan and uh, I'm working in the radiology department in the Al Hayat Hospital. And I've been here for uh, almost six months and uh, I've been working in the radiology department and we are doing uh, ultrasounds and uh, we are doing x-rays here. And uh, it is uh, really a nice place uh, which uh, like we found in the whole uh, of this uh, area which have very uh, less resources and uh, we are really thankful to those people who are like uh, doing a very good job who are doing a very who are doing helping to the people who are community here which have a very less resources and they don't have uh, so much uh, healthcare facilities here and this is the one which I, I saw all over the place this is the best which I saw my name is Muhammad Usman and uh, I am basically from Pakistan and I am graduating pathology uh, 2010 and uh, I am have working two years as an assistant professor pathologist and uh, also as a microbiologist and as, uh, also as an assistant hematologist and uh, when we people come here uh, we see all over Somaliland and uh, we people was very surprising because that uh, Somaliland have a lack of special pathology lack of special diagnostic centers and uh, especially if we talk about the um, pathology, that is a, a very new and advanced field to research uh, the uh, cancers and to research uh, the, all the carcinomas and mostly Today, three water wells are fully operational in drought-prone areas of western and south-central Somalia, providing clean water to people and their livestock. In addition to these ongoing projects, Amud Foundation from time to time also responds to disasters. This past year of 2011, the worst drought in 60 years hit Somalia and the Horn of Africa. When famine was declared in six regions of Somalia, putting 3.5 million Somali victims in immediate risk of starvation, Amud Foundation was the first charitable organization on the ground, establishing 21 feeding and dry food distribution centers. Our knowledge of the territory and culture gave us the capacity to immediately reach victims in their own villages before they embarked on a deadly trek to neighboring countries where many would have succumbed along the way. Amud Foundation President Brother Mahmoud Igal was on the ground in Somalia distributing food and water alongside local volunteers. Dry food was distributed to 120,000 families in the affected areas, including Bay and Bakol, Gedu, Mogadishu, Afgov, Somaliland, Puntlan, Galmudug, Dadab, Shamta Abak, and Wajir, Kenya. Another 1 million people were provided iftar meals in 21 feeding centers during Ramadan and the following month. Your generous donations helped save tens of thousands of lives from starvation. But the work is not yet complete. Now that the rains have started in Somalia, we need your support in order to help people go back to their villages and farms. They want to go back to their own land so that they can plan again and be able to regain their livelihoods and stand on their own feet again. But they need seeds and sustenance for the first few months.
So let's join hands once again and plant a seed of hope. We also need your support in establishing greenhouses in drought-prone areas to help the local communities build sustainable livelihoods. One of the newest projects that Amud Foundation is working on is building greenhouses in drought-stricken areas so that those greenhouses can provide food and vegetables for those people that are in those drought-stricken areas. Tonight, our goal is to raise $200,000 towards the following. Reparation of famine victims from the camps back to their farms and villages. Continued annual support of 14 orphanage schools. Building greenhouses in drought-prone areas. And digging water wells to provide clean water. I, as Imam of Islamic Association of Carleton, encourage you and I'm asking you, all of you brothers and sisters, to help and to open your heart, to open your wallet, to open your pocket in order to help these brothers. Please do open your heart and try to contribute as much as possible for this noble effort. Uh, we are uh, blessed, uh, you and me, all of us. Uh, it's a cause to be here and Allah has selected us to, to be here. And uh, surely we are here to help uh, our brothers and sisters back home. Yeah, I always show my gratitude every single day to Allah that I have my parents, I have food, and I have shelter. Yeah, and I, and I always wonder how the children in Somalia, they live without the education, the food or the shelter. Yeah, and I always make dua for them and I wish they get the best. I always pray for them that they can enjoy their childhood as me and your children do. Let, Let us plant, plant a seed, seed of, of hope. hope.